Welcome to my tutorial, and this is Chris. We are going to learn how to create stunning explosion effects without any plug in this time. So let's create a teapot first. We are going to break it into pieces. Click the second last button on the right, and choose geometric or deformable in the drop down menu, and create a bomb inside the teapot. Here comes the most important part, link the bomb with the teapot, so that the teapot would react with the bomb. And when you drag along the timeline, you can see the teapot is reacting with the bomb now. Just play around with the value so that you can get the results you want. The maximum and minimum size of explosion is represented in terms of poly. The size of the pieces will fall between this range. So, we've got a decent explosion animation here. What we have to create next is the smoke and the flame. Click on the third last button on the right and choose Atmospheric Apparatus. And close the teapot with a sphere gizmo. The flame and smoke will be found in this gizmo. After that, we have to add fire effects manually. Go to setup and you will find that the fire effect we added is already there. Select fire effect. And check the box explosion. We have to select the ending time and the starting time of the explosion manually. Let's render it and see how it turns out. Play around with the value here again. According to my experience, Reducing the flame size could make it look more realistic. And we can see the smoke here. I'd recommend you guys to use motion blur in this case. The animation will look more breathtaking. So you can enable motion blur here. You'll find that the pieces are more blurry. Increase the shutter duration if you want to add stronger blur effect. More time samples means better result. You can render the whole animation now. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.